What's going on my Cardano friends? It's your friend Jack here and in today's episode of Cardano Daily, I want to talk about fear, uncertainty and doubt inside the crypto space and I want to also talk about people saying that, you know, Cardano is going to zero dollars, Cardano is going to crash and burn, crypto is going to crash and burn. I want to talk about some of this fear, uncertainty and doubt and why I really do believe that crypto is our future and it's our chance at a better future in general. But just before we get into the bulk of the video, I'm going to show you right here. I'm completely biased on the Cardano side of things, on the crypto side of things. I do have my toes and my legs and my feet in the water. And look at that. Someone just delegated to our pool. They're now going to be earning passive ADA on their ADA. And if you want to also earn passive ADA on your ADA, you can stake with my pool, ticker symbol Jack, to you know, support the network and support me getting out of my mom's basement. Whoever this was staking, I really appreciate you. And every delegation helps, no matter if it's a hundred or a thousand or whatever. Also, I have Cardano merch that you get discounts on if you contact me after staking, no matter how much the amount. Okay, let's get into the video now. So fear, uncertainty, and doubt. So in this definition, it's outlined as a propaganda tactic to basically put fear, uncertainty, and doubt into the markets and into things that are po political, into cults, polling, generally a strategy used to influence perception by disseminating negative and dubious or false information and manifesting the appeal to fear. So people are going to often in the crypto space call anything negative FUD. And I understand it gets kind of funny because a lot of people in the space, they say, oh, it could go down. Like something just as genuine as that, it could go down FUD, right? It could go down, okay? So not everything is FUD, but a lot of things are FUD. Like people who are saying that crypto is not going to last, it is just a phase, a FUD, um, I think that is FUD, okay? And a lot of the mainstream media doesn't cover crypto in the light that it should be. First and foremost, crypto is something that is going to provide a better financial future and not just financial future it's going to provide a better world in my opinion not just cardano but crypto in general because the systems we have in place today legacy systems don't serve the expanded things that we're doing today uh, traditional banking systems are outdated you know even traditional real estate is outdated a lot of these financial systems and a lot of these just generally old systems don't have the same design to meet what our needs today and cryptocurrency allows you know a new way of doing things a permissionless way of doing things a decentralized way of doing things you know a way where people get power to impact the votes and polls and decisions without having any you know reason to doubt if their votes or polls are actually accurate or if they're manipulated um, with blockchain technology everything is on the blockchain and once it's there, you can't delete it. It's there forever. Okay, these things last and you set imprints on a database system that essentially can't be unimprinted. You can't take that data back. It's there forever. And right now we don't have a system that really does that, that provides that level of transparency. So whether it be Cardano, whether it be Bitcoin, whether it be Ethereum, all of these things have their own uses and each one is helping build the other up. So I really don't see Cardano going to zero dollars. I don't see Bitcoin go to zero dollars. I don't see Ethereum going to zero dollars. I think they all have active development teams and they're all going to do quite well as we progress towards a more blockchain positive future. And I know what you're thinking. I am just some 21 year old kid living in his mom's basement, uh, chanting my magic internet money in the hands and whatever that means. But really though, you got to think about that future that is getting better has to improve the systems it's running off of. So in my mind, Cardano is one of those systems. Cardano is a utility system to provide more than just a store of value like Bitcoin is, but to provide a lot of different solutions to these different problems, whether it be, you know, governance or whether it be interoperability. Cardano has solutions to these problems that cryptocurrency can solve and Cardano is going to help solve too. So Cardano, Ethereum, Solana, whatever smart contract platform you're interested in, they're all going to be benefiting from each other. They're all going to be pushing each other forward. And if they're continually 
actively developing and providing real use cases to the world, I don't see any of them really going to zero or going to poop. Um, as long as they're actively providing uh, you know, accurate or actually beneficial things to the blockchain tech and just to the smart contract world, I think they're all going to do just fine. And maybe that's a weird point of view that Cardano is not going to overtake all the markets, but I think they're all going to do just fine. Now, could some of them go down and stop progressing and essentially be worth a fraction of the others? Yes, but there's always going to be some risk with uh, innovation and going towards the future. And I really do believe that Cardano is going to be part of the future. And so is Ethereum too. So is Bitcoin. But when I look at utility and changing the future, I think the smart contract platforms are going to be the things that really push adoption with NFTs and with, you know, governance systems inside of smart contract platforms that can provide transparent, basically voting systems and things like that. I just really think that smart contract side of things has a bit more purpose in the in the way of cryptocurrencies. Now, Bitcoin, I think Bitcoin is great. It still has that, you know, completely transparent blockchain technology aspect. But I do think that, you know, it's not going to be the number one forever. And if you're going to unsubscribe from me saying that, I'm sorry. But I think there's going to be systems that come into play that are changing worlds. They're changing the world that will essentially have more value at some point. Bitcoin can't do the same things as Cardano and Ethereum. That's just how it is. Um, it is built on a foundation that is more outdated now that we have been evolving in the cryptocurrency world. And that's where I stand on that. But um, I still think Bitcoin's awesome. I'm so super thankful for it being a thing because without Bitcoin, we wouldn't have gotten to where we are today in the cryptocurrency world. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me ranting about cryptocurrencies in the future. And I really don't think Cardano's going to zero dollars. I don't think Bitcoin's going to zero dollars. I don't think any of these major top cryptos are going to zero dollars in the near future whatsoever. Um, I think there's a long way to go, but I think if you're looking on the positive side, we have made big steps in this last year. And even myself, as someone who's quite new to crypto, I'm still researching, I'm still reading more <laughs> crypto books, and I still have a lot to learn. So keep that in mind. Everyone's learning, and don't be afraid to ask questions if you got them. See you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.